Cannabis, ecstasy, LSD, all well known as pretty dangerous drugs, and rightly so. But now this man, the government's chief drug advisor, has sparked some controversy by questioning that received wisdom. Professor David Nutt is the chairman of the Advisory Council on the Misuse of Drugs, which is an independent expert body that advises the government on drug-related issues. He's attacked the decision to make cannabis a Class B drug and accused Jackie Smith, the former Home Secretary who made that decision, of distorting and devaluing scientific research. Professor Nutt said that smoking cannabis only creates a relatively small risk of psychotic illness. And he claims those who want to downgrade ecstasy into Class B from Class A have won the intellectual argument. These clubbers didn't seem to agree, though. Ecstasy is a hard drug. Yeah. I'd never take it, ever. I know a lot of people that do take it and it can cause a lot of problems when they, when they go out clubbing. Like, people, it can be so dangerous. I think it's bad because... It'll just make more people do it. All drugs, he says, including alcohol and tobacco, should be ranked by a harm index, with alcohol coming fifth, behind cocaine, heroin, barbiturates and methadone. He added that tobacco should rank ninth, that's ahead of cannabis, LSD and ecstasy. No one is suggesting that drugs are not harmful, he said. The critical question is one of scale and degree. We need a full and open discussion of the evidence and a mature debate about what the drug laws are for and whether they're doing their job. Professor Nutt is no stranger to drugs controversy. He hit the headlines in February this year for claiming that the risks of taking ecstasy are no greater than those involved in riding a horse. That's a claim he stands by in his latest research, a briefing paper for the Centre for Crime and Justice Studies at King's College London. But, as with his earlier comments, these latest claims will probably prove rather controversial.